Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're gonna jump back into building our mountain fall diorama. Let's go. So this is just a quick before, uh, just some thick pictures of showing what we were starting with to where we're gonna end off with. And also my apologies, a couple of the videos got recorded vertically, so they'll show up as squares, but uh, not every video. So here, if we're just taking a look, I had finished making them into three-dimensional islands now. So I had bent and warped the, the initial flat pieces. I added some additional extruded parts on top to give it more of the mountainous feel. Um, I left the bottom more like a spider net shape, so um, they're, they're more hollow, giving me the option to add some lights later. And yeah, so that was just that portion. And we'll be starting to work on the structure of having them stand up next. regular soldering iron wood burning tool from Amazon. It was only like 12 bucks or something. And I was watching a, I was watching a video from, it was Frankly Builds, like a video he did like three years ago, talking about how to, um, how to melt on like magnets or how to, Join parts, 3D printed parts, when building like Iron Man suits and stuff. Um, he seemed to to like using the soldering iron for that type of thing, so I figured it would be a good good test uh, of the abilities of the using it to melt prints and seeing how well it would work for this project. And so far I'm happy with it. So we'll see, we'll see where it goes. So at this point, my soldering iron came in the mail and I was able to start smoothing out prints. Um, I kind of paused the elevation portion with the 3D pen just cause it didn't come out very nice. I wasn't happy with the result. Um, although I'm going to still give it another shot, see if I can fix it up a little better, but um, while I continue working out the smoothing portion, um, I'll just kind of keep that in the back of my mind and start planning for the next step. So here's a quick look at the final results of the soldering iron for the main island. Um, it kind of leaves some burn marks, but I'm gonna be painting this anyway, so it's not a big deal. But I'm really, really happy with the way it kind of smoothed out all those lines. So this was done over the course of a few days actually longer i think it was maybe like four days even um the, this process took a very long time it was very tedious uh, the soldering iron works well to smooth out these parts but um, when you're using a little tiny tip to to melt an entire surface area it takes a really long time um, but the good thing about this is because it's like mountainous terrain even if something seems like it was melted by mistake or melted too deep into the plastic, it actually still gives it better texture. So um, I'm, I'm quite happy with, with it, but just keep that in mind if you're planning on using it for your own prints. So here we are. We've got three floating islands, all melted and smoothed out. It's just enough so that it looks like 
the mountain mountainous terrain that it's supposed to be. So we've just got one left to do. Great. And this is the one that I haven't done yet that I attached to the, to the foam board. So just to kind of show a comparison of before and after, we have this and this. smoothed out we're all done with the soldering iron let's move on to the next step which is the structure so you can see here I was starting to experiment more with the cardboard toilet paper roll and one of my leftover filament rolls um, I was using the toilet paper roll to draw lines of plastic and then once it cooled, I would remove it and use that as the standing structure. So it was it was a good experience, good experiment, but honestly, I still wasn't happy with the final result. So here it is. I also had to add like three of those cables to keep it standing up because it just wanted to keep falling over. So, but still pretty cool. If you liked that video, feel free to give a thumbs up. If you got any questions, feel free to ask or shoot down a comment. Uh, and if there's anything that you guys may want to see done in the future, let us know. Um, I'm going to be working soon on a 3D modeled and 3D printed uh, Leo armor costume. Uh, typically, it's like on YouTube, you'll see people that make their Iron Man suits and stuff like that. Uh, kind of like uh, Frankly Builds and uh, those kinds of people. So I'm going to be making uh, uh, some videos based off, off of my Leo costume. So that's going to be cool. Looking forward to that. Um, and that's it. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.